It has been a discussion that has dominated most households and offices across the country. High cost of electricity, households and businesses forced to dig deeper into their pockets to pay. For instance, one customer, as a result of the rising costs, has been forced to pay 23,000 shillings in December. This is 10 times their monthly bill previously at 2,400 shillings. This piling up to their January wars. In July, August and September last year, their bills were 2,400, 625 and 825 shillings respectively. The fuel levy now attributed to the high bills rising significantly to 4,567 shillings and 50 cents from an estimated 142 shillings in July and August. According to utility service provider Kenya Power, all this is meant to recoup some 8 billion shillings it cushioned the consumer from in the previous months. This is a result of expensive diesel generation of electricity due to prolonged drought in the country. Data from Kenya National Bureau of Statistics also indicates that Kenya Power bought an additional 1 billion kilowatt hour of power from diesel generators up to October last year. Government figures also indicated that diesel generation costs about 30 shillings per kilowatt hour, while the cost of geothermal power ranges between 7 and 8 shillings per kilowatt hour. That of hydro generation is estimated at about 4 shillings per kilowatt hour. And on Friday, Nairobi-based lawyer Apple Mboya wrote to the competition watchdog requesting for its intervention in stopping Kenya Power from subjecting customers to inflated monthly electricity bills. His move aptly covered by Kenyans on social media. At Muduim, Kenya said something is not right at KPLC. The complaints line for false bills was very long yesterday. At Slyri also commented that KPLC just said they'll be passing that to consumers on monthly invoices. I need a minute. At Wanjiku Revolt pleaded with Kenyans saying we are working on a class action suit. Please share as many consecutive months of KPLC postpaid or token purchase records which include direct meter picks with us, the email being switchoffkplc at gmail.com. Similar sentiments also shared by a cross section of Kenyans. Kwetu kiwa na inti ni kuumizo, tunaumizo na watu wa Kenya pao wajaribu yaani. Wajaribu wa, waangalia watu wa chini. Kwa watu tutaumia zaidi. Sana sana kama mimi. Rent ni naalipa elifu tatu, stima inataka miatano. Sasa ni naona kama stima inanumisa sana. Hapu ina zakuwa, hapu ita kuwa fiamia, hapu ita kuwa ningori maze, because... Kama kungekuwa na kampuni mingi zaidi, tustegeme tu Kenya Power peke yake ndio itakuwa kisupply maneno ya stima. Cumulatively, Kenya Power expects to recoup 10 billion shillings. It, however, says it has so far recovered 2 billion shillings, with 8.1 billion shillings expected to be passed over to consumers in the coming months. Patrick, a Gunza citizen, weekend.